Welcome, Aquarius. My voice still is not back to its usual sound, so I just have to apologize for that. We're getting a six again. Good, 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 good. All right. Now, on that note, on that note, one, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder what this says. <clears throat> I want you to chase me. It gives me the power in this connection. <whistles> Whoa. Okay. So, <clears throat> For many of you, that is how your person is feeling right now. Can you imagine? Okay. I'm going to start off by asking, I want to deal with that right away. Why does this person not feel powerful in the connection unless they're being chased by Aquarius? Why does this person need to have Aquarius chasing them to feel powerful. It's right there, whatever it is. Ah. All right. Whenever I get <clears throat> the five of pentacles paired with something family related, you know what I see? <clears throat> I see damage from somebody's past. Um, this person, uh, sometimes it's called separation anxiety, um, poverty complex, meaning it has absolutely nothing to do with monetary poverty, but this could be a bottomless pit um, in a metaphorical way. In other words, they need to be fed, their ego needs to be fed, but it's, it's never seems to be enough, you know. You can give them every compliment in the world here. Give them your all with the Ten of Cups and they still feel empty. So, but the thing is, um, it could be related to their family. Um, this is the Ten of Cups. Now, not always, but at times, and I feel that here, so they may have had sort of a, a not a, split family, but perhaps um, their mother had, uh, you know, perhaps they had a stepfather instead of a father or a stepmother instead of their mother. Perhaps they had to put up with, um, you know, half sisters and half brothers that they didn't get along with. Maybe they feel like because of that, they're not worthy or something. But that's bonkers. Some of the most interesting people that I know um, you know, have these mixed families and you don't even, you don't even notice it unless they, you know, put emphasis on it, but something went wrong here, I feel. So uh, their mother could have been ill when they were young. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't feel that I'm being empathetic enough here because, you know, I remember a fellow I used to date and his mother I, died of cancer, God rest her soul, when he was really young. And um, I could see the issues that that created for him. And the relationship just never worked out. It was, he was impossible to, um, to, it just seemed like, you know, he always felt like he was missing something, you know. Maybe it was me. <laughs> I don't know. But you get the idea. Can we clarify a little bit more? Why do they want Aquarius to chase them? Why do they, it's right there. Okay, hang on. Now we're getting a little bit more information here. Because they want to feel like you chose them. This is a choice here. This is a little less... Um, this, is, uh, this is completely forgivable, I think, here. It shows a lack of confidence. But if they may feel that unless... Um, they may feel that if you're the one doing the chasing, then for sure 
You must love them because you're doing the choosing here. But again, look at that four of wands. This again is related to family. Um, do you see how welcoming these two people are here? And very often this is related to a wedding, but it's usually a family event and you're supposed to feel, well, these two people are welcoming. Um, I'm gonna just run the question one more time. Um, why do they need Aquarius to chase them to feel powerful? Why? If I can't get it this time, there's something wrong with me. <laughs> okay, all right, 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 all right. I just think it's the same thing. Here's you um, with a giant, giant cup of love and they are behaving in a very haphazard, sexually passionate way. Um, but I feel like what's underneath it is love. Um, but perhaps they find it hard to express. One more time. Clarify the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups as to maybe their mother was in and out of their lives. Maybe their mother was in and out of their lives. Oh, geez, Louise, you've got a real piece of work here. Um, a lot of love, a lot of love. We've got the two of cups and the lovers, Aquarius. Bonding, though, again, here. Um, a choice, and here's bonding. So I, I do feel, whenever I see the two of cups, <clears throat> I always remind people, this is something at its early stages. Um, so perhaps this person gets stuck right there. Um, and they either uh, generally, you know, when something goes wrong here, one person is too, you know, clingy and the other person is too much the other way. So it sort of needs to be evened out. If you feel like you're the clingy one, um, you know, you need to, to be less clingy and the other person needs um, to uh, to step up, to step forward a little more for it to balance. But the key card here is this one, the lovers, because it relates to a serious choice. And I feel like there may have been a choice that somebody made about them in the past. Am I right about this, please? Clarify the choice. Clarify the lovers, please, as to why they have this need. It's right here, whatever it is. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Ah, uh, I think I just figured out. This has to do with you, my dear Aquarius. Now, I want to remind you guys, I am not an Aquarius. I am an Aries Leo rising. I'm very, very fascinated by the astrological sign of Aquarius. And this is one of the reasons. So this is one of your major arcana cards, the Fool. And in this split, in these circumstances, given this question, do you know what this energy is? <laughs> Non-committal energy and uh, you guys are often accused of being seeming detached um why because you're phenomenally good in a social setting but just as good on your own it is a rarity um and you can turn around and walk right out the door it shocks people when you guys do that i think that your person is, is picking up on this, believe it or not. You might be saying, oh, no, there's no way because they're not calling me in. It, no, I feel that what this is here is you, your independence um, and your lack of neediness scares them. Even if you are, you know, even if you feel like, well, I'm doing all the calling, I'm feeling the clinging. No, I think when you guys do that, you're just determined to make something work. Eight of Pentacles, determined to make it work. But look at the other side of that coin. See you later, Gator, you know. Um, if they're not willing to meet you halfway, I believe 
that they've either seen you um, making a choice like this or they know they're aware that you can do it. I'm going to get one more split to clarify the Fool and the Eight of Pentacles. What is it that's um, triggering them about Aquarius here? What is triggering them about Aquarius and making them want Aquarius to do all the calling? Yep, scared to death of being heartbroken. Scared to death. So, um, also, they may be aware of someone else that's interested in you, by the way. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Libra here. There was Leo energy, and um, who else do we have? I know I missed a bunch of them, but this is quite, I gotta, I have to clarify this. So this is scaring them about you. Now, what deck? I going to use to clarify I'm going to use the millennium what is the king of cups and the three of swords is it just fear of heartbreak what is the king of cups and the three of swords as to what's triggering them about aqua there's three coming out wouldn't you know it fear 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 ten of swords and eight of... Uh -huh. paralyzed with fear Paralyzed um, with insecurity, uh, feeling like they're unable to make a move here. Because I feel like the person that you're dealing with does not like to lose. If they are not um, assured a victory, they don't even want to try. Because of these competing energies, it's weird. Here's someone paralyzed with fear and insecurity. There's someone basically overthinking um, and not being able to sleep, but they're regretting something. This here is a regret. What's underneath the Ten of Swords? Oh, okay. Look, either in the past, something really didn't work out with them and somebody else, or it could be that in the past, they may be aware that you broke somebody else's heart, or... In the past, you may have broken their heart and you don't even know it. Now, I'm going to ask which it is. Because um, you may think, oh, no, I didn't say anything or do anything. But, you know, sometimes when I dig further, when I'm dealing with you one-on-one, -on -one, I realize that, oh, yeah, there was that text that I sent where I said, well, don't dare, blah, blah, blah. You know, so, um, whereas you guys were just being logical, you know, and uh, it was taken the wrong way again appearing to be detached. Can we please have a clarification of the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Three of Swords? Has Aquarius done something in the past or what was something that you did misinterpreted? Uh, yeah, you took off. <laughs> or, this is definitely you taking off. This is the Six of Swords. That is the four of wands and over there. Uh, you know what I think is going on here? I believe that this is something that you're unaware of. I believe there's somebody else here um, that is lusting after you and your person is afraid of this, but you don't even know. Uh, who is the devil? Clarify the devil. And the four of wands clarify the devil and the four of wands okay now i've got to say something for about two percent of you one of your siblings has slept with your person this is a very 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 small portion of you for about 25 percent of you one of your friends has and i don't think you know about this and I think that what they're thinking is that if you did know, boom, you're gone. And I, I'm, I think over there, that's their energy, the devil. It was probably something they did when they were really, really, really drunk. Or um, your friend, sibling, I just saw one, four, 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 by the way. Or somebody um, betrayed you, a friend may have betrayed you. Now, I want to say something right now. 
please don't hold this against your person. Um, everybody, I don't think anyone has lived a life free of mistakes. And I can tell you right now that your person is tortured by this. Absolutely tortured. All right. Um... Now, the, the other, you know, for the rest of you, it could just be this person is in love with you. They do want to commit, but the thought of you being with somebody else just scares the living hell out of them. It may make them very angry and emotional. I also think that what's going on here um, is they may be delaying the bonding process here because of this fear. So they may be focusing on physical stuff in a deliberate attempt to delay commitment and bonding. Um, but it's backfiring here, I can tell, because you're either already gone or you're on in the process of um, exiting the connection. So here's the problem. This person does not get you at all. Get one more sneaky message and then I'm going to go back to tarot. Actually, we're going to take two. <laughs> one and two. I adore the way you express yourself. Yeah. They could be a little bit intimidated by you. I don't think you and I are over yet. <laughs> um, they're hoping that you're not over yet. All right. Um, I want to see some more feelings. At this very moment in time, how is Aquarius' person feeling about Aquarius, please? Oh, very sad and guilty. Five of Cups, sorrow. So if they've left, boy, do they ever regret it. This is deep, deep, deep sorrow. It can also be guilt. So they may well have cheated at the same time, wanting to commit, wanting to be... Um, I mean, this person wanted to be solid in your life. They wanted to be dependable. And I feel like they, they really feel like they've let you down. Show me a little bit more. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Virgo there. Show me more, please. How is Aquarius' this person feeling about Aquarius? It's right there. Yeah, something has gone wrong here. So they are, if it makes you feel any better, they are reviewing their behavior um, they've heard the call. They are heeding. Um, Gabriel's blowing the, you know, the horn of the esoteric there. I do feel like they're judging themselves. I think they're comparing their behavior to yours. Now, we've got the magician over there. Um, you know, I feel like they feel like they've been a bit of a trickster. Why? Why? Clarify, I'm just going to keep going. How is Aquarius' person feeling? Show me their thoughts and feelings right now toward Aquarius. They sure know how they feel. Love and extreme obsession. <laughs> um, very attracted to you. They could be um, very jealous right now and envious of something. They are keeping this in. I want to know what they're upset about over here. I feel like this is just the thought of you being with someone else. I, it, and this makes sense because very often the people who cheat are the ones, you know, who accuse you of cheating. And they're, they're the ones that are the most afraid of it and the most emotional about it. Show me, clarify the uh, King of Cups and the Devil. Oh, now we're back to here. Lost without you empty without you literally um in a lot of pain they did this to themselves so they are hoping that i mean here there's an extreme fear that they pushed it way too far show me what their intended actions are what do they intend to do next what do they intend to do next oh good Good, 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 good. Look, Aquarius, cut this person a little slack. Not only are they going to apologize, but it's not going to be a page of cups, immature apology. It's going to be a major apology. 
It's going to be something romantic and meaningful. And I believe that they are going to tell you the truth with judgment here. Massive amount of Scorpio energy. Major Arcana card of Scorpio. Nights are fixed in, in where I come from anyway. I, I, I completely respect you. If you feel that kings are fixed and knights are mutable, I can, I understand that. Um, but this is just the way that I feel. I do feel that fixed um, water is, it, Scorpio obviously is fixed water. So I think that the Knight of Cups is Scorpio exclusively. Let's get a few more sneaky messages from your person, okay? This is really interesting. From the bottom of their heart, we're going to take two, six, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and let's get three more. From the bottom of their heart, one, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, guys, let's see what we have. So, I used other connections to help me mask my feelings for you. Now that makes sense according to this reading. I do feel that they're going to confess this. I hope one day I will be brave enough to listen to my heart. Sounds like this person. Don't give up on the dream. That's them hoping and praying that you still want, you still want this. They may have destroyed it though. Anyway, not knowing what comes next scares me. Yeah, there's the Five of Pentacles scarcity complex. I know what I am doing. You, you know, that there's the hard edge there. They knew what they were doing as well all along. But now this could be, I know what I'm doing right now. You know, I hope perhaps they're feeling confident that they'll be successful with this apology. And finally, oh, I hold on to my pillow wishing it is you. I believe that. I believe that this person with this great big ego has a pillow or a teddy bear and they do wish for you. Aquarius, let me know um, if it resonates, all right? And get ready for a great big giant apology. Let them come to you. Okay, bye guys.